In the meantime, we turn now to Georgia tonight. Election day, of course, tomorrow in this runoff race for the Senate being watched by the country. Democrat incumbent Raphael Warnock up against Republican Herschel Walker, who's turning to Donald Trump tonight for help in a teller rally after Trump suggested in recent days getting rid of parts of the Constitution. So tonight, this question, who has the advantage from the early vote going into tomorrow? Rachel Scott in Georgia for us. Raphael Warnock! With less than 24 hours to go, Georgia Senator Raphael Warnock feeling momentum for urging supporters to not let up. We need you to show up. Are you ready to win this election? I, I'm not sure. Are you ready to win this election? Warnock won more votes in November than his Republican challenger Herschel Walker, but not enough to prevent a runoff. Already more than 1.8 million voters have cast their ballot, shattering records here. You know, that's what we're working on right now. We're working on turnout, turnout, turnout. In the final days, Walker's message has come down to one thing, tying Warnock to President Joe Biden. Vote for Warnock is a vote for these fair policies. A vote for me is a, is a better coming. Biden has steered clear of Georgia this campaign. Herschel Walker is basically calling you a rubber stamp for President Biden. <laughs> what do you say to voters who might be worried about that? I am the 18th most bipartisan senator in the Senate, period. Now, I know that that's an inconvenient fact for Mr. Walker, but we also know that he's allergic to facts, even the facts about his own life. Warnock says this race is about competence and character. Walker is accused of domestic violence, of lying about his resume, failing to publicly acknowledge several children, and paying for two women to have abortions, which he has denied. Here's what I believe. Georgia is better than Herschel Walker, period. The former football star won the Republican nomination with the help of Donald Trump, but in the final stretch, he's kept the former president at a distance. Instead, he's turned to Georgia's popular Republican governor, Brian Kemp, who stood up to Trump's false claims about the 2020 election and was easily reelected in November. Rachel Scott tonight live at a Herschel Walker event in Kennesaw, Georgia here tonight. And Rachel, we've already seen record early voting in this runoff election. Uh, everyone at home probably wonders uh, who has the advantage from the early vote. What do we know so far going into tomorrow? Well, David, Democrats historically tend to vote early, so these numbers could be a very good sign for Senator Raphael Warnock. Herschel Walker, on the other hand, now betting on a very large turnout tomorrow. Tonight, he's holding that tele rally with former President Donald Trump. This comes just days after Trump had dinner with Kanye West, who has made anti-Semitic claims, as well as a white supremacist. And then this weekend, in a very remarkable statement, the former president even called for terminating parts of the Constitution to help him overturn an election he lost. It is exactly this kind of behavior that many Republicans believe hurt them this midterm election and could cost them this race as well, David. All right, Rachel Scott tonight, all eyes on Georgia tomorrow. Thank you, Rachel. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.